You're not Korean, Joshua. Just because you have colored hair and you're Asian does not mean you're Korean or you're a K-pop star. So I'm gonna have to say it. I'm gonna say it for myself. To myself, you're not Korean. Hey everyone, let's get into the video. Today, I am going to be reacting to some K-pop boy bands I have never heard of or really gone into their music before. All right, so how this video is going to be set up. So I have, I have five videos that I'm going to be re reacting to today. And then also another video at the, towards the end, which you will see. But yeah, today I will be reacting to Astro Monster X, G-O-T-7, Shiny and Taman, I think. I will be reacting to a video from each of these groups and how I'm going to set this video up. So with each group before I get into it, I'm going to be, I'm going to do a little bit of research about it to try and learn more about the group, the members, what kind of music they make and how long they've been around. And then we'll get into the video. But before I get into the video, if you would like to skip to the main portion of the video, here's the timestamp. This video is a celebration of Korean slash Asian culture, and it would not be right for me to go into this without saying something about like about what's happening to Asian lives now. A lot of crime against Asian lives within the past year, especially with the pandemic that is now almost a year old. But I will leave some links in the description, something something for you to think about. If you are to if you are going to spread awareness about this on social media, do not use hashtag Asian Lives Matter because that can easily get confused with All Lives Matter. And just use the hashtags, hashtag Stop Asian Hate. Ha just use like ha the hashtag Stop Asian Hate. I'll put a little bit more information here. And all this information will be in the description. And then also Black Lives Still Matter. There's a new case that came up. Yes, this person, Moses Harris, has been missing since December 19th in Massachusetts. And a little bit of background on this case, I'm getting this information from NBCBoston.com. And what they said about this, officers tried to arrest him. And after he jumped into the Concord River to get away from police officers, people said that he committed suicide and killed himself and there has not been much police investigation about his case which his family believes the police had something to do with it and it's like it's history happening again and we can't let this continue to happen i will leave a petition to his name and more information about this case in the description please sign the petition so that Authorities will reopen this investigation and hopefully we will get justice for him and his family. All right, without further ado, I think that was all I needed to say. Yes, I'll be wearing glasses so I can get, so I'll be able to like look at this better. So I apologize for the glare of the glasses. Okay, I'll put like in like a little box here so that you can see what I'm looking at. The first video I will be reacting to today is by Astro Blue Flame. Now let's do a little research for the ones who may not know what this group is. Okay, Astro Boy Band. Astro is a South Korean boy band formed by fan, I'm not sure how to say that label, for a debut in 2016. It has six members. MJ, like, oh my gosh, I apologize in advance. I'm not familiar with these groups, so I apologize if I mispronounce their names. That's not me disrespecting them. I'm just not very familiar with these groups yet. You can see their names and then what their main role in the group is. But there, it seems like there's six members. All right, so it looks like they have released, oh, okay. They released two albums, Dream Part 1 and All Light in 2019, and then I'm guessing this Blue Flame video as part of their All Light project. Okay. I'm yeah, I'm assuming it's a project. I don't think it's an album. You know how these Korean groups are. Oh, never mind. It's an, it's an album. Blackpink got me messed up. Okay, so shall we react to Blue Flame then? 
I am looking forward to this. Okay, here we go. This is Astro Blue Flame. This has been released a year ago. It has 20 million views. Let's watch it. Okay. Show us some skin. Just the beat. Wait, hold up. Okay, wait. I really like their outfit. I really like what they're wearing. They're all very, it seems very synchronized and very parallel. Okay. Wait, I don't, okay. I don't know who this guy is, but I really like how he came in. Like his vocals just are so smooth and so light. I really like how he came in. Okay, switch up. Scenery. Okay, if they if they talk about blue flame and they don't show a blue flame in the video, I'm fighting. I get you guys are hot, but like I need like fire, okay? Like the song is fire, but is it Blue Flame fire? Blue Flame is like the hottest fire, I think. I'm so, what the heck? Okay, wait, the white flower in the vase or like the, it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast a lot. Like, you know, I'm like, that scene in Beauty of the Beast with like the red rose and then, wait, does that sim is that symbolizing something? Is this a Beauty and the Beast reference? Wait a minute. Doesn't the, the rose in Beauty and the Beast movie. I'm going off topic with probably another theory for another day. Let's just watch the video. <laughs> You, where's the blue flame? Show it to me. I know you can, okay. All right, so that was Astro Blue Flame. Good start for this video. I kind of, I liked it, but we'll see how it compares to the other videos, but we'll see. I mean, there's no need for comparison. They all make their own art. They're all artistically different, how they make music. I wanted to know who that one guy was towards the end of the video who did like the, the second rapper. Who is that man? I don't know. I specifically saw two members that really stood out to me. I don't know their names yet, but I really like that video. I really like the dancing. Well, actually, I really like their costumes and what they were wearing. Their looks, the jewelry, the costume designer, stylist did their thing. However, I personally, this is just me, I do feel like the dancing was not really, it didn't really stand out to me. I don't know. And it, it fell off beat at some points. I don't know, but that was just me. Their vocals were really good though. I really liked their vocals. They all sang very well. And the way they harmonized with each other, great. That was really good. Without me going way off topic, let's go on to the next video. Middle of the Night by Monsta X. Now I have heard of this group. I have not heard any of their music before. So let's see. All right, so Monsta X is a South Korean boy group formed through the reality survival program No Mercy by Starship Entertainment. Oh, snap. 
Okay, so it originated in Seoul, South Korea in 2015, and our boy Won Ho left the group in October 2019, so almost two years ago. Here are the group names and with their roles in the group. So there's seven members altogether, excluding, well, seven of them, well, technically six, since Won Ho is not part of the group anymore. But there's a whole controversy with that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, they have released quite some projects. Okay, so they've been making music since 2015, so six years. I'm guessing Phenomenon is their last album or project all together as a group. I like their look, they look cool. Now, let's go ahead and watch this video. I'm excited. It's called, this video is called Middle of the Night. It was released about a year ago and it has 12 million views. Let's watch it. If you give me an R&B song, I'm fighting. Are we getting a storyline? I'm a sucker for storylines in videos. Wait, I really like how in this first, I'm, like, I'm sorry, I'm already saying something, but I really like how the scene is composed with like the different colors, like orange, brown, and red. It's all very like pleasing to look at. And I like his hair and the, the suit he's wearing and like the tee. What's T? Why did Wanho leave? Tell me. Stop! Oh my gosh, I need captions. Oh, there's no captions available. Uh. The hair. I already liked it. I already like it. Goodbye. Don't look at me like that. Okay, straight jacket. Who are who is that? Wait, oh my gosh, that guy has kind of like a dark, like a deep, low, raspy voice. Does he growl in other songs? I need to know. What is his vocal range like? I don't know, I wish I knew their names. I wish I was like more acclimated to like who they are as, a, as like individual members. They're all, oh my gosh. Why do I like it already? I don't know, I think it's mostly in English. I think so. Who you think you know? Are you okay? What is going on? Are you getting a dance breakdown? You know what? That's even better. That's even better. It's just like... It's like you're singing to me. This, you know, this is me being over dramatic and overthinking stuff. It's just for, oh, it's just for the video. They're not singing to you. Oh my gosh, it feels like it feels so much more intimate if they're just like, if they're just singing. Mm. Oh, there's six of them. That was wonderful. Wow. Wait, so did they record the song with Wan Ho, but then they released the video without him? I think that might be it, maybe. Anyway, I really like the video. I really like that video. And I really like that song. I'm actually probably gonna like search that one up. You know, like the value of under, of like knowing your like your favorite singer or like artist or boy band and like knowing them as a person, it just gives you so much more of a connection and appreciation to the artists and like the the musical talent they all have. But it's just, I'm just taking it for what it is. All right, so that was Middle of the Night by Monsta X. The next video I will be reacting to is Go GOT7 Last Piece. Now, I just need to know how to pronounce the name 
Oh yeah, another thing. So I got all most of this information from a friend of mine. Her name, this is her handle. Thank you, Serena. I'm going to be reacting to Last Piece, which is their video before they left their label or when they stopped making music. I'm not really sure. Is it pronounced G-O-T? Oh, Jackson. Okay. That's the way he's a part of this group. Okay. I have heard of this person, Jackson Wang. I have heard of this person. I did not know he was in this group. But how do you pronounce their name? How do you pronounce? Is it G-O-T-7? It's pronounced GOT7, not G-O-T-7. So this band, boy band is, is formed by Japan Entertainment, I think. It's formed in 2014. Here you can see all the members. So there looks like there's one, there's seven members. And I guess Jackson Wang is the, he's the main person. Oh, three months ago. I wonder if it's gonna be like an emotional bell or if it's gonna make me cry. Make me cry, make me feel something. 1.2 million likes and 8,000. Dang, that fan base is strong. And it was released November 30th, 2020. Wow, just very recently. Let me look at all of their, at their discography real fast. Wow, they've been around for a long time. Oh, there's, there's a member from Hong Kong. Okay. Yeah, they've been, 2014? Oh my gosh. Wow, they released a lot of projects. I guess our last one is called Breath of Love, Last Piece. Right here. Insert picture. A piece of cake. I mean. Okay, I like him. I don't know about that outfit though. Who is that? I just, do they all have Instagram? Let me just follow them right now. Hold on, stop. Look, who are you? Oh my gosh. I feel like they're like so deep for no reason. The red. That, okay. The more I'm looking at the red hair, the more I'm like, oh, that kind of looks good. But I don't know, that, that first thing just threw me off. I don't know who the man is, but the stylist did their thing in the next scene. He looks better now. To me, at least. Period. Period. Okay, that was last piece. I really like the looks in the video. I'm not really sure what the, that portion of the song is, but towards the end of the song, the one of the members' vocals really stood out to me. They did their thing. The dancing was really good in this one. I really liked their dancing. They were all very on point with that. As for the song itself, I might need to give it a couple more listens, but on the initial listen did not really stand out to me that much. So that was GOT7, last piece. And the next group I will be reacting to is Shiny, excuse me, miss. Okay, let's go ahead and look them up and learn a little bit more about them. So this is Shiny boy band. This is a South Korean boy band formed by SM Entertainment in 2008. Princes of K-pop. Oh, four members. Okay. Well, after he passed away, Jong Yoon. Okay. Choi Min Ho Oh Lee Tae Min. Active until 2018. 
Well, there are four members. And let's look at their discography real fast. Oh yeah, they released, they recently came out with an album on, quite recently, yeah, the four members came out. It's called Don't Call Me, the seventh album. All right, but we won't be reacting to that today. Let's see, how many projects have they released? Oh yeah, they've released quite a lot. Wow, since 2008, oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and watch this video. It looks like I will be giving, I will be getting vocals. We'll see. Does this look like a live version? We'll see. Here we go. 12 million views four years ago. Yeah. Concert. Yeah. I like Jay-Z a little bit. Who are you? Okay. I'm sorry, I just, if I was any K-pop member, that would be, I would be him. Like, we're the same person. What? Like, the hair slick back? Who are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, from 2015. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm speaking so much, but let's keep watching. I hear something. I think I hear something. Vocals. Wait, they look they look very parallel right now. Okay, wait, this is giving me like an R&B K-pop song. I can like d detect the undertones of R&B that genre, it's very prominent in this video right now. I can see why people go crazy about them. He is serving. I don't know who that is, but he is serving. Deliver. I need to hear that again. I was not expecting that to come out of your mouth. Oh my gosh. You better sing. Oh, wait, wait, he just said all their names and I didn't even catch it. Joe Yun. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even paying attention. Hold on, let me go back. Wait, is that him? Oh. That's him, Jordan. Oh my gosh. We truly lost a legend, didn't we? Oh my gosh. I think that's him, right? Am I wrong? I have no idea. This is past footage, it's from 2015. Oh my gosh. I'm sure that fan, I'm sure their fan base must have missed him so much when he passed away. He just he just seems so happy and joyful. It's like isn't it weird how when someone passes away and then you like look back at footage of them and they are so happy and joyful and they show all this positive emotion. It just makes you feel oh were they secretly dealing with something and they didn't something must have happened or I don't know I'm lost for words right now. But anyway, let's keep watching. Ooh, he got like a little growl to his voice. Wait, that was a really good live performance. Like, are you kidding me? Like the vocals, 
they, they all did extremely well for themselves. So that was shiny. Excuse me, miss. And the next one, next group we will be reacting to today is Taman Idea. All right, let's go ahead and look this up real fast. We're almost done. Oh, he's 27? Wait a minute. He's 27 years old. He's the same age as Ariana Grande. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess Taman is a when solo and apart from Shiny. And he's released some projects of his own too. He's released several albums or projects as well. Okay, let's look at his discography real fast. Anyway, so Taman has released Oh, he released his first album in, wait, so he first released his first album in 2016 as 10 songs, so it is an album. Released quite a bit of music. Let's go ahead and watch this video called Idea. Okay, official music video has 48 million views, it released three months ago. Never gonna dance again. <laughs> Oh, wait, I like the scene. This one's cool. I don't know how to feel about it so far. I really like how some scenes are set up with the color aesthetic. And there's one scene where it's mainly like red and orange, one with mainly green, one that's all white. Fashion is, it's okay. The dancing is good. The dancing is very on point. However, I don't really think the instrumental or beat matches up with the with their dancing. I guess it kind of goes along with the song. Yeah, the production's not the favorite for this one, but yeah, let's keep watching. Okay, that's a really cool scene. Symbolizes a lot. Oh, I spoke too soon. The dancing with this scene, very, it's very, I feel like it's very synonymous with the production of the song. This part, but like in the beginning, personally to me, it, I didn't really feel like it matched up very well. But this scene with the dance breakdown, backup dancers, very well done. Did I judge too soon? I think I did. I like how he includes male and female dancers for the backup dancers. I really like, like I really like that. Okay, okay, Taman. That video picked up towards the end of the video. The fashion, the dance breakdown, it was really good. I liked it. If this video is already too long, and I'll probably just include the Wanho reaction on the second channel. But yeah, I reacted to one, two, three, four, five, five videos today by five or four groups and one solo artist tame in part of shiny but which one stood out to me the most Ooh, i don't mm. i feel like they're all so, Ooh, i, I uh, what's one of the favorite one for me and very subjective is what i'm doing right here of course this is just this is just subjective opinion what i personally thought of each video each artist i feel like each artist slash band prove themselves with their individuality and they set apart themselves from each group. I mean, obviously we can say like, oh, they're all Korean, they all kind of look the same, which is low key kind of racist. Not all Korean or not all Asians look the same. I think we're gonna say, I think Monster X Middle of the Night is the favorite video for me. That one really stood out to me. I really like the color scheme and the scenes and I really like that the scene towards the end where it's all five or six. I think it's six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it five? I don't remember, but I just really like that ending scene with all of them and they're just singing. It was, it was just them singing. It was kind of like that song with like a more smooth listen. It wasn't like 
in your face EDM with the idea tame in that with that song I feel like it was more pop dance music electronic based more for like clubs or dancing which I can appreciate those I still like those kind of songs but I do like personally for me I do like songs that have substantial content where there is lyrical and meaningful content that goes behind the making of the song and the production has to be parallel with the vocals. I also feel like the production with Idea was very overpowering and I, I could barely hear Taman's vocals in that song. I really like Monster X. Not, not to say that Blue Flame, last piece, I am I am assuming Excuse Me Miss did not have an official video and there's just that live performance, which I thought that one really impressed me. That was really good. Yeah. Conclusion, Monster X Middle of the Night is the video that stood out to me the most. I like the vocals, the song was really good, and they all did their thing. They all delivered with that video. Okay, I think that is it for today oh yeah so this video is going to be the k-pop boy bands but i'm going to make a part two with k-pop girl groups and solo artists i would like to react to chunga chunga's new song and video and i'll definitely include a little bit more if i have not already watched them i've been secret i've been on a twice marathon recently i've just been watching a whole bunch of their videos and live performances all the month of february that's all i've been listening to and watching but yeah i'll definitely try to include twice in the other video again please check out those links in the description of this video with hashtag stop asian hate all the links to inform yourself and petitions to sign but yeah, I think that concludes the end of this K-pop boy band reaction video. If there's any boy bands or certain things in the video that I missed, please let me know in the comments section. And without this video being too long, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.